Hello students, good morning. Uh, previous class we will discuss about bacteria. You know, like that microorganism. Some common this is caused by microorganism for human beings, plants, and animals. You know. So in this section we will talk about the food poisoning. You know what is the meaning of the food poisoning? You know, the food poisoning means what? Consumption of foods spoiled. You know, the consumption of food spoiled. Okay. Uh, example, we will eat some food item in the roadside. You know, roadside. So that food item is uncovered or should not cover. So that will what will happen? Some microorganism, some insect, you know, some flies sitting on that food day, you know. So that microorganisms or insect emit that toxic substances. Toxic substances. So when we eat that food data, definitely the toxic food substance, the toxic substances is taking in our food. So that's why what do you feel? You feel vomiting and headache and stomach pain. You know, so that is called the food spoiling. Okay, the food spoiling means nothing but the food poisoning. The food poisoning could be due to the consumption of food spoiling. Consumption of food spoiling. You know, consumption of food spoiling by some microorganism. Okay, what some microorganism? Consumption of food spoiling. Food spoiling. Food spoiling by microorganism. By microorganism. Okay, what some? That micro or organism. Okay, what the spoil? The spoil that food item due to that some microorganism. So the microorganism that grow, you know, that microorganism that grow on that food day, like bacteria or fungi, you know. So these are the microorganism. Some microorganism grow on that food day. Grow on that food day. On the time that microorganism emit that toxic substances. Emit that toxic. They emit that toxic substances. Emit that toxic substances. Okay, what? So this make the food spoil. Okay, what? These toxic substances make your food spoil. Okay, these toxic substances make your food spoil. Okay, well. so that food is already spoiled. Whenever we will eat that food, we will suffer. Okay, well. we will suffer. Sometimes causes the death also. Sometimes causes the death also. So the food preserve is very important. The food preserve is very important. Okay. And next one. So how to preserve the uh, food preservation? The next. Subtopic the food preservation. The next subtopic the food preservation. The food preservation is very important. Without food preserve, the food the food item is contribution of spoil that means what some microorganism growth on that food data so definitely we will suffer okay what loose motion or vomiting or headache or so much pain so how do you preserve that how do we control that food spoil okay so first step is your food preservation the food preservation is very important. 
okay well, good preservation is very important in the lesson one you know how to preserve that grain you know food of grain you know the first lesson we will learn about the how to preserve that grain okay well, how to preserve that grain so the food preservation is very important okay well, the food preservation is very important do you know one thing the bread item you know the unused bread item due to the moist condition okay well, during the rainy season the, the bread item you look like the bread some the white color patches grows on the bread or is it so that is fungus or is this that is that fungus that is that fungus so fungus is one kind of the microorganism that microorganism grows on the bread during the rainy season okay during that time whenever we will eat that bread definitely we will suffer because that food is spoiled some microorganism grows on the food item okay so that food item is spoiled no the how to preserve how to preserve okay ma so how to preserve that food item in that spoiled food item that spoiled food item and make that bad smell that food item okay ma the spoiled food item and make that bad smell emit that emit emit that bad smell bad smell and bad taste bad taste and bad color bad color is so the spoiled so this is the symptoms of food spoil what are the symptoms how do you find out that food item is spoiled or not you know the spoiled food item it emit that bad smell emit that bad smell and emit that bad taste so emit that bad taste and the bad color also will be changed the color also will be changed it spoiled the food is the chemical reaction the spoiled food the spoiled food is a chemical reaction chemical reaction and you know whenever we will cut the pickles or some food items you couldn't eat some for few days you know we will eat after one week you know so that food is good or bad because that is that food is spoiled because some fungus okay ma some microbes is some of the microorganism is attack that fruit attack that fruit okay ma so that is not good okay ma that is a spoiled food item that is a spoiled food item and if a grandma make a lemon or mango pickles you know so definitely that one is not spoiled that one definitely is not spoiled okay va because okay va because your grandma added something your grandma added some ingredients in that pickles or pickles okay va so what are the steps we can use for food preservation okay va what are the methods the what are the methods we will use the food preservation one is a chemical method one is a chemical method okay va next one preservation by the next one the preservation by common salt next one preservation by common salt and next one preservation by preservation by the oil the preservation by oil and vinegar preservation by oil and vinegar oil and vinegar and preservation by preservation by sugar and heat and cold treatment heat and cold treatment and storage and packing and storage and packing storage and packing so 
these are the method we are using for food preservation what are the method one is the chemical method and second one preservation by common salt and third one preservation by oil and vinegar and fourth one preservation by sugar and fifth one cake and cold treatment and sixth one storage and packing sixth one the storage and packing okay wa so these are the method so these are the method used for the food preservation okay wa so first the first one is a chemical method so first one a chemical method so it is your kind of the food preservation method okay wa so normally we are using some of that chemicals the normally we are using some of that chemicals okay wa ordinarily the normally we are added that the salt and edible oil in that common chemical method okay wa common chemical method so these chemicals to check the growth of microorganism these chemical to check the growth of microorganism therefore they are called the preservatives so therefore they are called what the preserve preservatives preservatives okay so therefore they are called preservatives preservatives okay so we are add some chemical okay wa we are add some salt and oil we are add some salt and oil to preserve the to preserve the preservatives to pickle to prevent attack of microbes okay wa we add some salt and acid we are normally we are use the salt and acid to preserve to preserve the pickles prevent to attack the microbes so we will add some things okay ma so commonly some chemicals we are using for food preserving okay ma the first one that uh, sodium benzoate the sodium benzoate and second one the sodium metasulfate okay ma sodium metasulfate so these are the common chemical preservative yeah. so these are the what are the the sodium the sodium benzoate the sodium benzoate it okay, was the sodium benzoate the sodium benzoate the first one the sodium benzoate and next one the sodium meta sulfate meta sulfate the meta sulfate the third one is your meta sulfate okay wow so these are the common chemical so these are the common chemical so these chemical used for the food preservation method of chemical method okay wa so these are used for the chemical method what are the chemical we are using the sodium benzoate and sodium meta sulfate ph meta sulfate so these are the chemical normally used for the chemical method okay and second one the preservation by the common salt and preservation by the, the common salt okay wow. so we will add some salt in the food data we will add some common salt in that food data like the meat and fish you know the nowadays the meat and fish is imported export food data you know so in our india okay wow, we will uh, we will export some item we will export some item to foreign countries like the meat and fish item also so how they are preserved so people they are add some salt the people they are add some salt okay wa the fish and meat is covered with salt and they will export in foreign countries so that food they can definitely is not spoiled because the salt is prevent the growth of microorganisms the salt is prevent the growth of microorganisms okay ma so and we will add some we will salting is also used to preserve that amla and raw mangoes and some of the food items also some of the food items also and third method the preservation by oil and vinegar preservation by oil and oil and vinegar okay ma 
So whenever your grandma or your mom, they will prepare the pickles like that lemon pickles and that gooseberry pickles and that mango pickles. So definitely when we cut the pickles, okay, when we cut the pickles, so your mom and grandma they will add some oil and vinegar, oil and vinegar because that oil and vinegar you should not okay, oil and vinegar that oil and vinegar and stop the growth of microorganism so that two, the two things like that oil and vinegar they will stop and grow that microorganisms in the pickles so that's why your mom and grandma whenever they will prepare the pickles definitely they will add that oil and vinegar so this is the one is prevent the growth of microorganisms okay and next one the prevented by sugar the prevented by the sugar okay well. so this method okay well. so this method is normally used for like the uh, sweet item like that uh, gems or jelly food item jelly like the gems or jelly squash the squash with like that cold drinks item you know so the sugar they will preserve by the sugar the sugar reduce the moist content which inhibit the growth of bacteria which spoil the food okay well. so like that sweet food like jams and jellies and squash you know so they will add it some the sugar they will add it some the sugar why they will add it the sugar the sugar reduce the sugar reduce the moisture content which inhibit the growth of bacteria inhibit growth of the bacteria whenever we will add sugar what is the main goal of the sugar it can reduce it can reduce that or inhibit the growth of bacteria so that's why like they will add it as sugar in their jams and jellies potatoes and next one the heat and cold treatment heat and cold treatment so do you know one thing your mom whenever your mom keep the milk in the refrigerator before itself your mom boil the milk then only they will keep in that refrigerator okay so that milk cannot spoil because already that milk is spoiled so then only your mom keep the refrigerator okay wow. so the boiled milk the boiled milk Kill the microorganism. Okay, well. Without boiled milk, can easy to spoil. You know, without the boiled milk, you can easy to spoil. Okay, well. Whenever your mom, whenever your mom boil the milk, okay, well, so that milk is not contaminated. That milk is not spoiled. It's a good. Okay, well. So uh, why we are spoil? Why we are your mom boil the milk? Because Kill that microorganism. Kill that microorganism. So then only your mom keep that refrigerator. Okay. For do you know one thing? We will get milk from the packet, you know, so that milk cannot spoil because that milk before itself they will boil. So then only they will put that refrigerator. So that's why the milk cannot spoil. They will store that maximum about that one or two months itself. Okay, because that milk is not not spoiled. Before itself, we will heat it, so then only keep the refrigerator. That is the no problem, you know. And so this is the one of the method, you know, the postulation. Okay, wow, well, the postulation. The next one that is here, postulation. So the phosphorations means nothing bad, you know. The phosphorations means nothing bad. Okay, what? Well, the phosphorations means nothing bad. The milk is heated. Okay, what? Well, the milk is that the phosphorescent milk can be consumed that without boiling. Milk is free from harmful microbes. Okay, the milk is heated. Okay, what? Well, the milk is heated. The milk is heated. Seventy degrees Celsius. Seventy degrees. Celsius in half the 50 to 30 seconds. Okay, wow. So that is very important. The milk is boiled or heated in the 